Hey guys, hey. I'm uh, coming at you with a quick mail day video of some pickups that I've had recently over the last, I would say, two weeks. Um, I haven't posted any videos in a while. I'm just trying to figure out a format that works for me. Um, and, you know, being stuck home with two little kids during basic quarantine for three months has been tough. And you'd think it'd be a lot of time to film, but no, no energy to do so. Um, so I'm hoping to kind of get a schedule going again, maybe produce something every four days or so, whether it be TTM or a mail day or, you know, just something about baseball. I may even change the na name of my channel um, just to dork out on baseball a little bit. So today is a quick mail day, <clears throat> four items. Um, I'm going to go from worst to first or least best to best best. Um, and the last item is an awesome redemption that I've been waiting for a year and a half on. So I'm really excited to show that off. Uh, worst is a uh, Darwin's and Hernandez 2020 Don Russ uh, sticker autograph. Um, he's needed for my all-time Red Sox collection. They have not yet finished the 2019 roster, so he was a big ad. I've been looking at his Tops Update stuff, but it was too expensive. They go for, I don't know, $4 plus $4 shipping, and I wasn't going to pay $8. I think I paid $2.89, maybe $3 for that card. Uh, and that's what I was basically looking to pay for him. Uh, next up is a Boston legend. Um, and basically I've been selling a lot of my cards on eBay. If you if you sell on eBay, they've been offering up 200 free listings. So I've just been putting up a bunch of my old base that I don't collect and don't care about. And so any basketball cards that I sell have been going towards um, a fund to buy um, some Celtics legends that I don't necessarily have or want to upgrade. First upgrade is an upgrade. It's a Kevin McHale certified autograph. Um, I had one that I'd picked up on SCN, which I do believe is authentic. But, you know, in looking forward and looking to collect things for my kids that they can either sell or know is real, looking to pick up more certified stuff. So I picked up the McHale for $11. Um, I thought it was a pretty darn good deal for NBA Hall of Famer. Um, and I really appreciate the, uh, the etching on this card. I don't know if it picks up, but even his jersey and numbers are etched. It's really cool. Um, I've never been one for like a chrome type finish, but this card really pops. Um, so it's kind of opening my my eyes to that uh, realm and that possibility. Um, so after I picked up the kale, I kept selling cards, basketball cards, and my next on my list for Celtics Legends was someone that I did not have is Paul Pierce. Figured he was the quintessential Celtic of my later growing up years and then 20s and I did not have his autograph so I picked up a Skybox Autographics numbered 15 out of 200 um, I did a buy uh, not a buy it now I offered I think $25 for this as soon as it popped up um, and the seller accepted so it's pretty darn cool there's a little bit of wear right there sorry I got such glare with the light a little bit of wear right there on the seal of authenticity but otherwise it's a pretty sick card the blue border looks really nice um, and it's the first Paul Pierce in my collection um, and so it's nice to add that Celtic and again that came from purely sales of you know common not common but like inserts and old basketball cards Jordan and you know refractors of Kevin Garnett that I had or uh, Kobe Bryant cards that I didn't want and then lastly and most excitedly, and I might even have to move this one up, is a redemption that I've been waiting on for a year and a half, and I didn't think it was ever going to be redeemed. Um, it was a rookie card from 2017, um, and I bought a, a Topps Project 2020 card, uh, which I haven't received yet. And a, a few days later, I got an email from Topps, and, and I said, okay, that's probably the 2020, Project 2020. It shipped. Great. Um, and that night, I opened up the email finally just to see, and it said that expect this card coming in the mail, and I couldn't believe it. And it is an on-card rookie autograph of Cody Bellinger. Um, I pulled this in December of 2018 when these boxes went on sale and blow out um, and redeemed it right away and have been waiting ever since um, to the point where I was pretty sure that this was never going to get signed. Um, so to get this back is pretty sick and I'm going to need your help a little bit on this I think this card's really awesome and I love it but I know that it'll also sell for a lot of money 
I know that it'll sell for probably 150 to $200, just ballpark. Um, and with that, I could then probably buy um, another autograph of Cody Bellinger that's not his rookie card for, say, $50 and pocket the whatever $100 that's remaining or whatever it is after fees. Um, should I do that? You know, the, the budgeter in me and the autograph collector in me says, yes, sell this card, get as much as you can for it, buy another Bellinger autograph so you still have him in your collection, and then use that money to buy something else. But this is a freaking sick-looking card, and it's his rookie card. Um, and I don't know. I kind of, you know, it was the biggest pull I've ever had for sure out of a pack, you know. And some of me knows the economic opportunity, but some of me is also like, but this is the card you pulled. It's pretty cool. Um, so right now it's staying in my collection, but I, I'd love to hear whether whether it's worth continuing to consider buying, selling it, and then buying a $50 Don Russ autograph of Bellinger. Um, will this hold its value? I'm guessing it will. If I'm looking to you know, buy stuff that'll hold value for my kids. I'm guessing this is the one to do it. Also, if I do hold on to it, do I submit it for grading? I don't know how to tell. Um, a lot of his 2017 rookies seem to be, assigned rookies seem to be graded. Um, it looks clean to me, but I don't know. Um, but that was a huge mail day that totally, like, <laughs> could have made my summer just because it's so cool. Um, but those are the four things I picked up recently. I'm going really slow about it um, as I sell my stuff. I have a spreadsheet I can show you if anyone's interested in seeing. Um, you know, anytime I get an idea of something I want, I basically put it in there. Um, and then when I sell cards, I allocate that money to the specific, almost like a project. Um, and I put the money towards that item. Um, and I have a target price in there. And when I reach that target price, then I start searching for it. And when I can find one with that target price, I use the money that I've allotted for it. Um, so it takes time for me to build up enough to buy the cards. But it also allows me to be smart about it and not do a lot of um, purchases that are just on whim, on the whim. Now, I do have a little bit. I have a category in my spreadsheet that is um, to spend. So it does allow me a little wiggle room to buy something just randomly. But... Mostly it's all budgeted, um, it's carefully considered because I don't have a tremendous amount of money to spend on my collection, so it comes slowly, most of it's what I get on eBay. Um, so, you know, my big mail day over two weeks is, is four cards, but I think four really cool cards that, you know, it took some time to save up for, and then one that took a year and a half to get back from Topps. Um, this is way longer than I thought, I'm glad to be back, I hope to post videos every I don't know, four days. Um, maybe some of them will just be me talking about baseball or picking out a bunch of cards and just talking about them. I don't know. I want to get beyond just TTMs. Um, I'm a huge baseball nerd, and I kind of want to dork out with it a little bit. Um, so who knows what my videos will be. I hope you continue to watch them. I hope you like them. Uh, I like showing off my stuff. Um, so until next time, hopefully four days from now. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good beginning to the summer. I hope your collections are going well. Um, and I'd love to hear any feedback both on what I should do with the Bellinger, um, how you budget for your cards, how you organize your spending. You know, it's all stuff that interests me. Um, so I will talk to you again soon.